A new dating app is having users swab instead of swipe. The app processes DNA from a cheek swab to match users based on their pheromones. So the creators say there are 11 genes that impact attraction. Pheromones, we've talked about them. These are chemicals, you can't really smell them per se, but it can trigger a reaction in the opposite sex sometimes or someone you may be attracted to. If their pheromones match up with yours. So this is using that science. I don't know that I buy it. I don't know that I'm, I'm ready for, getting back to ready for prime time, I don't know if autonomous vehicles are. Mm -hmm. I don't know that swabbing my cheek, getting my DNA, number one, that I'm gonna trust some website to have my yes, DNA. Yes, absolutely. I agree because, I mean, right now you give them your phone number, you give them your email address, and then they call you or text you or email you every other day to ask you to join a group. So are you really gonna give them your DNA? They say they will destroy it once they're not using it anymore, but is that true? Like, would you all do that? No. Would you I mean, do that? It's another way to invade your privacy. I mean, I believe in this pheromone thing. Yes, I now mean, that I, I believe in that too. That, that oh, yeah. Pheromones yeah. that for sure. I think there is a compatibility issue based on of pheromones, but there's so many other issues that you have to look at as well mm -hmm. to determine like whether you get along or not. I know, and I don't think the science is there right now, and I think a lot of people will pay for this because the dating scene can be pretty tough. So I think people will pay for this in hopes that they will find their perfect match, but is it really worth the money? Like, do these people really know what they're doing? Because they're not even telling what 11 genes they're looking for. I they're keeping that a secret. I think it's one more angle. And look, if someone uses this and they find their match, good for them. I think there are all kinds of different angles now where people are trying to set one another up. Mm -hmm. And there's, yep. a, there's literally a website and they, out there for Anyone and everyone. And they've been burnt on the sites they've been using, like, whoa, I'm not doing very well. I'm, uh, I'm not finding the kind of person I'm looking for. So I can see people trying to jump into this, buying into it. Yeah, but there probably is a genetic component to, as far as who you're attracted to. There probably is some truth to that. I just don't think we've necessarily figured out what that truth is.